Hi, I'm congressional candidate Joe Kopsick. For years, Senator Ted Kennedy emphasized the need for comprehensive health care reform with health care as a right and not as a privilege. Soon after Kennedy's death, when Obamacare passed, its critics decried it as socialized medicine. Socialists believe that a person has the right to the product of his labor. But where does one get the right to the product of a doctor's labor? What precisely gives an indiv individual the right to somebody else's labor? And what is free health care, really? If capitalists are correct that free competition can help drive down the cost of health insurance and care, how could restricting the freedom of insurance companies and health care providers to compete possibly drive that cost to zero? I don't subscribe to the notion that I am entitled to the product of the labor of a doctor whom I have never met. I see it quite a different way. Maybe if I am kind enough to admit to the doctor that the product of his labor does not belong to me, the doctor would feel appreciated enough to decide to treat me for free. But is such a doctor even free to make such a decision? Certainly there are regulations in place that prevent him from doing so. Making health care free does not necessarily make it available. Canadian free socialized health care is plagued with long waiting periods and the rationing of care. Last month, the Canadian government performed the Orwellian action of ordering parents to consent to allow hospital staff to remove their young child's breathing tube because the hospital could not afford to perform the simple tracheotomy surgery which could save the child's life. You know what the family did? They came to the United States where most of the Obamacare provisions that directly affect hospital care have not yet gone into effect. These are the so-called death panels that liberals believe Republicans are fear-mongering about. Death panels do exist. They are not, however, a bunch of cigar-chomping men in suits sitting in a room deep within the Earth's crust deciding to kill your grandma in particular. They are, rather, groups of government bureaucrats who encourage hospitals to urge patients to voluntarily decline treatment. Free socialized health care is not a socialistic or communistic system, but a corporate protectionistic nas nationalist system. It operates for the profit of hospitals, insurance companies, health care providers, and bureaucratic government programs. Obamacare does nothing to address the problem of people having to choose between paying for their health insurance versus other daily needs. It simply penalizes people for choosing to eat rather than to pay for the health insurance required to get them their medicine and other treatment, and gives preferential care treatment to people who have health insurance over those who don't. Obamacare kicks the old and the sick while they're down, and then holds up a picture of your grandma and gets you to cheer because her modest success was the exception to the rule. Obamacare is just more kicking the can down the road. Obama Boris. Why don't we just elect a doctor president?